Flash screen was playing absolutely insane, by the way. I don't know if he caught the set against Brandon, but it went game five. I did see it win game five. Yeah. That was he he, he, he caught an actual black screen. Yeah. Uh that, that fifth game. <laughs> only for only for you guys though. Stream was able to watch it the entire time. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and get into this. Diddy Ike. This is death without a doubt, this is Diddy favor. But Rahul or Black Screen can always find a way to make things happen. Oh absolutely. Oh that's smart, isn't that Oh my god. I, yeah, and that's what you gotta do. You, you know, you get that, you get that uh, advantage. You just go incredibly ham off stage against and Ike. kill him. Yeah. <laughs> he should ideally, ideally, he never makes it back once you once you knock him off stage. No, yeah, I feel like uh, whenever you have matchups like that, though, it can be frustrating when you don't connect on those edge guards. You know, like when you're like, oh, he should have died there, and you can get a little bit more antsy. And I think that's kind of what Black Screen relies on sometimes. You see the over aggression from players a lot of the time going against them because they just, whether they know the item matchup or not, they underestimate the power of the character. Just options put him off stage. I actually want to make it back that second time around, but man, this this coverage, this is why uh, I think I do not like fighting Diddy on these uh, on small and PS2 because like man, he can cover so he can cover that platform so much. He can it's at the perfect length for him to like ledge cancel his monkey flips and stuff like that. He's just e everywhere, everywhere all at once. This is playground, absolutely. I would say. Uh, I wonder if we would see any counter picks. So I know Blackstream really likes this stage in particular, but he he can pretty much rock any stage. I've seen him do good on Kalos. Seen him do good on Hollow. Just depends on how this first game goes. It's looking like. It's Beastly's game to win though. It's looking, yeah, it's looking, looking pretty tough. And again, I can, I can definitely see that. I can feel, man. I'm sure these platforms are everything you could ever want to extend your, your near chains and combos and stuff like that. But might be a little bit better on a, on a character like Diddy. Yeah, and I mean, another thing I know about Black Screen is he is a, an online warrior, so he, he probably has more experience against Diddy Kong's than Beastly has against Ice. If I, I if I were to guess, that, I feel like that's a low tier thing in general. There is, there is. Uh, I know there was uh, Tis by up in DFW. I know, I know. That's like the, that's like the first Ike I can think of from DFW. At least that plays an ultimate consistently. But like, not that I'd ever been ranked in Texas though. No, no. I mean, Tis has moved on to other characters from what I know. And I mean, there's. I would too. It would. And compared to Black Screen, it's it's definitely like a, a bit of a, a bit of a jump. But. Oh, that could have been the that, yeah, that would have been a great equalizer. Put, put him on the same stocks, but I guess like I said, this, this should be uh, Beastly's game to lose. He almost got the the. Down tilt S smash, uh, exactly. very tight conversion. Uh, but Black Screen not going down without a fight, man. Keep this is definitely a momentum uh, gainer. If I were to think, so. like, he's, he definitely started adapting towards the end of that game. Yeah. And the chat seems to just turn into a uh, Ike. <laughs> Ike hate. <laughs> Like they're, they're, it's, it's, it's tragic. They're Ike enjoy. I, you know, I, I'm an Ike enjoyer myself, but man, it's a tough time. It's gonna be a tough time. I love watching Ike, man, but I also love watching Diddy Kong. I think I don't think there's a single character that Beastly plays that I don't enjoy watching. For sure. He's all like, even, even the Ness, like, it's Ness, but at the same time, I enjoy watching it, man. I wish yeah. he'd bring back the PT. Aside from that, I'm, I'm cool with Diddy Kong Ness. Opting for, the opting for the battlefield, maybe that extra platform that uh, oh, anybody can. And I imagine like Beastly probably gets rid of like your Smash Smash Hollow and like maybe PS2. Yeah, but I would say almost without a doubt Smash and Hollow were, were out of the picture. Just because, like you said, the Diddy Diddy Kong loves those two platforms up there. And the battlefield though, it's a really good choice for for Blackbird. He gets constant juggles. With that up air, I'm just yeah. looking at that right here. There it is. Uh, uh, timely, timely air dodge. Beastly gonna get, gotta get himself out of that, that Ike vortex, man. Hot, hit, hot pursuit here from Beastly. He is not letting him breathe right now. Yeah, so that's what you gotta do. This character is slow, man. It, once you let him get his face, that's when it, the matchup can get frustrating. But when you just keep him disadvantaged like that, I mean, Blackbeard just got out of disadvantage after that entire 30 second season. And now he's back in. And that's an interesting use of some kind of use it both in the side B and the up B. Using that top platform is like a neat, as like a, a pseudo movement option, a means of escape too, to kind of extend his options when he's have to, having to deal with Diddy and neutral, which is in some characters effectively like if you're against Diddy and neutral, it's, sometimes you just lose the neutral by being in neutral. Yeah, I agree. Also, did you see that banana toss side B did 20%? Yeah. <laughs> damage yeah. is damage. I live in too, big boy. It is really good. Uh... For his, for his options, just getting out of disadvantage to have that battlefield platform like he said. I didn't even think about that, but every time I play against uh, a character that juggles the shit out of me, I'm gonna go to that top battlefield platform. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you go, you go, you go there. You go ledge. Those are, those are your options, right? It's just so much versatility within that, like you were saying. And look at this. <laughs> Not gonna be able to get the chat block. Beastly does tech the. I wouldn't even know when I had to tech that, to be honest. Right. All right. Surely that does. Oh my goodness. He, he just opts for the back throw instead of the kill. The, the slight staleness on it gonna keep him alive, but back here 227. Gonna close it out. Right at shield there. 227 finally finding the number that'll yeah. do it. Yeah. This, 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 this is this is prime Ike percent too, right? Like you he took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, this, this is exactly where Ike wants somebody to be at. And he's looking, he's looking, he's down tilting, he is nearing. Gonna be able to get some Z catch on that banana as well. I don't think Ike's smash attacks are actually fast enough, but he doesn't need a smash attack. He said I got banana combos too. I know, I know what I'm doing around here. The up tilt still not gonna quite do it. Another another big swing of the sword might be enough. I know that's insanity. There's the Aether gonna be able to do it now. Fantastic anti-air. I mean, that, and that move is crazy strong too. They buffed that, you know, uh, uh, what feels like a millennia ago, you know, in, in one of the earlier patches, but man. And they never regretted it. Yeah, they oh, it's, it's great. great. Yeah. I definitely needed something like that. It's a great anti-air, great out of shield option. Uh, you know, relatively speaking, some, someone like Ike, you know, they appreciate having some sort, something out of shield, you know? Yeah, which surprisingly, we haven't seen a whole lot from Blackstreet just in this entire tournament run that he's had. He's normally I'm like, two. I mean, I mean I not to make him sound bad or anything, but he normally uses that move a lot more than he does than he is yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see, he's tacked on 60 extra credit, and I mean, if he can... I mean, if, if last talk gets three relief, he's got another 100% before he's finally out of here, but... Absolutely. I mean, this, this tide is completely shifted right now, but Beastly, he wants this He wants this game, man. He is not letting the fact that he's oh, down his higher stock bring him down. Good use of the pop in cancel to, you know, turn his backseat, uh, give enough time to, like, force Black Screen to pick, pick an option to react, and just covered everything with the barrel. Oh, speaking of covering Holy. the barrels! Almost got him with the with, with the offstage there. The Nair's gonna hook it up. Monkey flips on out of there. We don't we don't want to interact there. And that's it. Yeah, that monkey flip is, is devious. I mean, you can understand why Beast left battlefield open, man, because it, it, it provides options to Ike to get a disadvantage, which is you know pretty good because his disadvantage is pretty poor. But it adds even more for Diddy Kong, who already has such a really good disadvantage. We're gonna start in twenty. Get catched by uh, Black Screen. Just wants to kind of set him up there. Oh my! I thought he was gonna get barrel again for a second. That's what I was saying. I thought he was gonna. Just Use it again to fire it off. Get Blackstreet too far away to recover, but he's back. He's using that up. He, he wants that kill. This oh my gosh, this could have been his Bro, game. This but is that's the last hit game all of a sudden, Dude. man. Blackstreet had a whole stock lead just a second ago. You can see the nerves in his gameplay. He doesn't want to lose this. He thought he had it in the bag. He maybe got a little too comfortable. And now Beastly bringing it back. If Beastly were to win this game, I think Blackstreet may just be out of it just in the mindset alone. But he's going to get that drop down there to kill off the top. The combo move, killing at 130. And I submit to no one. You know, I I wouldn't call it exact, exactly a clutch up, but a prevent a preventation of the It was a close. He had a Heimlich maneuver himself. I call it a close. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it would be good. Uh, I'll be interested to see kind of how... Uh, how the how the sledge game is gonna evolve? Obviously, I feel like your layer one is Ike. Uh, when you got him on the ledge, is that really good F tilt, right? You, you, can, you can put yourself right, right out, uh, right at like a pseudo roll distance, and just like pressure with that big F tilt, which kills super early. I haven't really seen that from Black Screen. Maybe he's kind of like, maybe that's like a back pocket game four, game five kind of thing. That is interesting um, to say. I haven't, I've literally not seen any of it. He probably knows more than we do. About right, it, right. Because I, just... I really don't think. It probably isn't as fast as we're, as we're thinking it is. Maybe we just suck against Ike. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Catalyst for game number three, uh, which I think should be fine. I mean, the plat you, you get you do have a platform to extend, and typically Ike's gonna kill. I mean, I Ike is gonna be pressured to kill off the sides more than he is off the top uh, with this with this tall ceiling, and I can do that. Uh, it'll just be an interesting. Oh, good, good lord. That was definitely very reactable, but it's still cool that he tagged it. <laughs> And I don't think with Talos being such a large stage, I don't think Ike minds the FD uh, either. No, I feel like it's fine. Uh, you know, taking obviously you lose the platforms, you take away your ability to extend your combos, but you also take away like uh, safe landing options and like little tents for Diddy to camp under. So you know, get get with the bat on these stages. I definitely see him perform pretty well in this. Uh, it's I think it's one of the stages he did to beat uh, Blue Striker whenever he played him at. Interstellar 3. So, he, going almost FD against Sonic and winning, that, that, that proves that you know what you're doing on these games. I'll take that. I mean, early lead here for, uh, for Beastly. I mean, extra credit is all, is all you could ever dream for, especially on this stage. And good use. You see by Beastly why he took it as a counter. Oh my god. 
<laughs> just a banana game. <laughs> banana game to <laughs> I thought he was dead. We hold up. We stay composed off stage out here. He's been he's been an act off stage before. Oh, absolutely. I mean, but you can't you can't help but remember how infamous Ike's recovery is for being bad. Like everybody completely just worked for this predecessor character because of that recovery. Because that one right there. Thanks for showing us black screen. But uh, try to play the game. Yeah, that's not, not not quite gonna do it. Good good DI and a little bit of a little bit of heft from. I can gonna close that out, but Beastly's already lapped him in percent. Can we say this? This was a similar situation to the last, la la last game, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and Beastly almost brought it back. So now down to uh, two, one stock to three. It's gonna be up to Blackstreet to try to uh, rein this game back in. But man, that that counter pick yeah, coming was, in big big clutch for for Beastly here. I was just gonna say Diddy Kong with the lead is absolutely insanity. I mean, we've seen Trader Jordan down in Houston. He isn't even like doing anything that crazy, but he will commit to going to time, and it just gets to people sometimes. And I feel like if Beastly were to do that right now, it, it would definitely work. Because how do you catch Diddy Kong as I? But like you said, those monkey flip cancels and everything. Man. And he's and he and he's content to, you know, trying to make mixing up his ledge timings and stuff like that by wall clinging and wall jumping off Honestly, on the side yeah. of Alex. This character could be untouchable. And I'm not gonna go down there, like come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just watches and he's like, bro, like what, is, what is that what is that monkey doing now? Please. Speaking of please, Blackstreet wishing to get off this ledge right now. And he's just going to do that normal get up up B. He was ready for it though. Beastly has watched the VODs. Going to be able to get that 2-1 over Blackstreet. One more for making his way into top 8. I yeah, yeah. Winter side, winter side top 8. Solid. Solid, solid play. I imagine Blackstreet not, not going to be opting to run it back. That seemed like a bit rough. That no, seemed probably a bit rough of a stage for me. Probably. All right. And we go back to Battlefield. No DSR here gonna be able to go back onto it. Which the fact that DSR was ever considered, I feel is I feel is dumb. I feel like DSR is important on like I never enjoyed it. On like melee where you have five stages, like that, you kinda yeah. kinda need it. Um, but in this game it's not like if I go on this stage my character's gonna win. Right. Unless it's Yoshi's story with Mario. I like modified DSR, uh, which just for, like especially in game five sets like in five game sets like this where yeah. it's like it doesn't it, it knocks out like the run back on game three, but not game five, you know? I can definitely understand that, but look at this right now. Beastly keeping a crazy advantage right now. And then no jump on the on Blackstreet's part either. Mm. Yeah, Beastly definitely kind of found his, uh, found his group some point in that last game, and it's just, he's just he's just having a good old time. He's 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 playing, Jungle Japes is playing. He's having a great, he's having a Beastly, grand old time. Beastly is tweaking right now. He is getting so much percent on here. But like I've always said, it's about the stocks that you take. And black screen looking like he wants to do that first. Yeah. Nair, Nair back here, and how did that almost confirm? Are you right? That, that was, was just... almost a confirm. He was like 10% away from it, true comboing. Like I said, no way black screen takes his stock first. Oh, bet money. Bet money, man. I usually don't win bets. I'm a bad, I'm a bad gambler. I am, <laughs> I am a gambler. Bad or not, I, I will keep betting. Hey, still not going to take All that right. stock first. There, there goes my pitch. That's that on me. Good. That was good. I mean, Black Stream stopped the, uh, the bleeding a little bit. Like, 80 damage is nothing to shake out. And he's a head away now from evening it back up. So, oh, yeah, he did the same thing against Wayne and able to get the extra credit back whenever he was faltering. You can see that I can just live super long sometimes because of how heavy he is. And if you just play around, you know, the opponent's kill options for their groups being, you know, they just want that stock to be over with. It's like, oh my gosh, it's already at 170. Yeah. Then you can really get the extra credit going. But it's looking like it could be rough. This matchup is just awful for black screen. Or yeah, for Ike in general. Beastly's been just doing such a great job at, uh, at just getting the hit and just maintaining that advantage. He's not. He doesn't have to do anything too crazy. He's in easy. There's the F tilt. I told you, game four, baby. <laughs> Woo! Easy. It was in his pocket, able to secure it. But it is a deficit nonetheless, and a big one at that. 113% is nothing to scoff at. Beastly just has to hang on tight, play passive like he has been, there it is. to get those easy KOs with banana F smash. This was. Uh, seated to go this way, but that doesn't mean Black Dream's not going to do absolute crazy stuff and, and lose. You can see, uh, for a second, thought about trying to go for that for, for that dare, but that's it. There's that hesitation of like the the Ike recovery, the the Chrome recovery, of just getting you know cycloned in and dying at a, an absurd percent. It's a lot weaker with Ike, but yeah, absolutely, I can understand the fear of like even though it's like in theory so easy to do it, like you see the place of like the P2 just jabbing and it, it just dies. But, but there's also times where the Pichu jabs and the Pichu dies. Yeah. 
We'll see. I mean, another another hundred damage tacked on here. I mean, it's it's uh it's looking rough. Probably probably should put a bow on this one, unfortunately. Yeah, but... it's looking rough for my black screeners out there. Mm. Swinging, swinging. He is swinging. He's going. He's going monkey mode right now. He is not going to drop this lead. Look how safe he's still. He's playing. He's ledge driving him from center stage because that's how much he's respecting Black Street right now. And that is gonna kill confirm at 100. Ruha in 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 the year of our Lord 2024. That's crazy. What a way to end it off. That it looked like bad GI, but I think that just killed. <laughs> I think that's a <laughs> kill confirm at 130%. On Diddy Kong.